Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel on YouTube. And today I'm going to show you Minecraft crafts like this. Okay, first of all, I have a diamond sword. I made all the tools, and only two of them are diamond. And I want to show you something after creative with the diamond and my other thing. So, we have a diamond sword right here. One of these. And diamond pickaxe. And I will tell you how I made these afterwards. And then I have some steak, two torches, melon, bread, cookie. I'll show you the bread again. I think I showed it properly. A cake. And the diamond. And the creative thing I was going to do is it's kind of cheesy, but it's pretty creative. Of printing out two shovels, but I didn't want a diamond shovel, and this could turn into two different types of shovels. I have an iron shovel and a diamond. How do you make it? A diamond shovel. Yep. Just take a piece of tape and tape it down. Just make sure the thing doesn't. And right now, I also have cute little monsters. I got them from Google, and I copied them, and well, I printed them out. And um, I'm going to laminate them and take the little magnets and stick it on the back. So right here I have a zombie, a gas, a zombie pigment, a creeper, a skeleton, and an enderman. They didn't come with any um, blazemen. They didn't come with any slimes. You can look those up if you want. But, oh, sorry, I just had to pull up my pants a little bit. And I just wanted to tell you how I made these real quick. What I did is I found a piece of steak. And then I copied it and I put it on Microsoft Word. And then I enlarged it on that. And if you don't have Microsoft Word or you have some other type of um, thing that you could make the picture bigger, that's also fine. And, um... What I did is I actually printed it out, and I printed all these out. I actually had four torches, and I gave one to my friend, well, two of them to my friend, and I gave her another cookie that I made. So then this piece of steak, um, it's basically, I printed it out, and I got cardboard. And I didn't want to make anything double-sided, because it's just waste paper, and I, I, I'm not really, I don't really care if it's like this. So, what I did basically is, I took the paper, and I used wood glue because it's really good glue, and I waited two hours for it to dry, and let's say this was the page that this was on, that the sword paper was on the paper, and let's say this is cardboard and large, and I glue, I glue the page on it, the whole page, just like where the sword was, it showed like a shadow of the sword, and I glue it, and then I spread it, and then I leave it down, and then I let it dry for two hours, two hours, if it was wood glue, it was Elmer's wood glue, and you could use glue stick, any type of glue you want to, just make sure you wait a long amount of time for it to dry, well, in a, enough amount of time, because my first attempt at trying these, I actually wasted a, not a lot of paper, a little bit of paper with this, and I kind of got some glue up here. It's a little shiny and dark. And you, if you could see, it was faded. I put a little bit too much glue on this, and I didn't wait for the ink to dry, like this one. Basically, you just take the piece of paper, glue it down, and then I took a razor knife, and you can use whatever type of tool you want to, and you could cut it out with a pair of scissors, but I recommend a razor knife because you can make clean cut straight lines, but I don't really make clean cut, I, there's some white, and I'm a really good cutter, and it was really hard, and I got a blister on my thumb because my thumb was rubbing up against it so much, and it's really hot out, so it was sweating, and... So I was sweating and stuff. 
So yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to laminate these and I am going to put the magnet things on the back and I have magnetic wall over there and back here. But I use what looks not that strong and I'm gonna like in some spots it is strong that I could put the magnet. Like if I was like this and I'm like, where do I put it? Let's say right here it just goes and it falls. Then I go like right here and it sticks. Like it does that sometimes. Let me so yes, and basically this was part of my school supplies video, and that was before, so was this, because it was in my binder, and this was my video earlier today, and I actually have my other videos, and please subscribe and like, and um, I showed you some of my drawings, I think I did, I'm not sure, and just remember, the blind box opening will be soon so we'll i will show you my money that i made it's going to be a type of like a random money it's gonna be like gaming it's gonna be it's gonna be gaming it's gonna be um other things and i want to show you one more thing that my brother brought me home tonight it's a little penguin balloon they went to a restaurant and some guy made this for them has a little tail on the back. I want to make sure he doesn't pop. I took a picture of him already. He's so cute. I'm going to name him Captain from Mr. Popper's Penguins. So, what up, Captain? So, and I actually recommend some people that do Minecraft because I don't really have a good camera. I'm using my iPad right now. And, um... Basically, I recommend Ant Venom, Skiski, um, I has Cupquake, um, Captain Sparkles, um, Try Hard Ninja. He doesn't really do Minecraft, but he's really, I like his music videos. I like the camping song. And um, I came to dig that features Captain Sparkles. Captain Sparkles also has a, has um, TNT, a parody of Ty Cruz. Um, he also has Fawn Kingdom which is parody of Viva La Vida by Coldplay. And the other one is by, um, it's, I think it's called Revenge or something like that. It's a parody of Ushers. And so I just wanted to mention that. And Aunt Venom did some of the TNT Olympics, and you should check that out. And I'd like to thank you for watching. So, see ya.